Hi, everybody. It's Monday, February 20th already. And a reading from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, and from our Sunday liturgy, I mean, weekday liturgy here, and sort of the middle of the reading. Someone from the crowd approached Jesus, approached Jesus. Teacher, I brought you my son possessed by a mute spirit. Whatever it seizes him, it throws him down, it foams at the mouth, grinds his teeth, and becomes rigid. I asked your disciples to drive it out, and, but they were unable to do so. He said to them, he replied, O faithless generation, how long will I be with you? How long will I enjoy you? Bring him, bring him to me. They brought the boy to him, and when he saw him, the spirit immediately threw the boy into convulsions. As he fell to the ground, he began to roll around and foam at the mouth. Then he questioned his father, how long has this been happening to him? He replied, since childhood. It has often thrown him into fire and to water to kill him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, if you can, everything is possible to one who has faith. Then the boy's father cried out, I do believe, help my unbelief. We'll start right there because, as you know, I guess you know, Jesus did heal the boy, of course, and I don't really want to focus on that, but if I had to say uh, two scripture verses that really have, to me, a powerful meaning, meaning is what we just heard today. One is Jesus' answer. Hmm? If you can, everything is possible to one who has faith. You have to ask yourself, do I, take, do I believe that? Hmm? Everything is possible to one who has faith, especially when it doesn't seem to be working out, our prayers being answered. And then secondly, and I say this, then the boy's father cried out, I do believe, help my unbelief. I believe, but help my unbelief. If I actually go through the scriptures and say, what scripture best describes you? All right? If I had to find a scripture that best describes myself, and maybe this might apply to you. These words from the Father probably is what we live by. You know, we have faith, but our faith isn't always that strong. It's, I believe, help my unbelief. Almost seems like a contradiction, doesn't it? I believe, but help my unbelief. But that's what we are. We're not one or the other. It's not black and white. It's not this or that. It's a mixture of both. And it's sort of comforting to know that. That there are some people who have this great unwavering faith, but most of us, hmm, we sometimes doubt and wonder, question. And so it's okay. So that, that's a simple prayer you can pray to, pray to God. Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. It's stating a desire to believe, but also stating our condition, that I'm weak and sometimes I have doubts. So uh, think about that in your prayer life. Memorize that. Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. This one describes me perfectly. God bless you.